welcome back to Final Fantasy V. I have no idea where we are. Hey, it's an airship. A town. Karnak. Old man. Not old man. So I guess, yeah, Karnak is, is a very ancient city in the Final Fantasy world. It was established about uh, 896 EA. And uh, it's known mainly for its export of awesome dwarven weapons, I hear. And we'll see here. My, my party consists of a bunch of necromancers for some reason. I don't know, I think I was just grinding to level them up. I don't think I've ever played them before. Anyway. Onward. I don't know, this guy's got a ponytail. Oh, hey, you can push people out of the way. How have I gone through this whole game without knowing that? That's crazy. Ooh, a pub. Let's go get drunk. Yeah, I heard in this game, actually, you can buy... You can buy ale from from the bartender, and then like you get so drunk that when you move, it's like in Final Fantasy VI when you're poisoned. It's, or it might be like that in this game. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've been poisoned. Uh, so anyway, Professor Sid sure seems to have cheered up. Yeah. Okay. He's not giving me anything. What the f are you doing? What? What? I'm doing my let's play. Yeah, I'm not sure. What are you? No, I'm. Dude, Ooh. why are you interrupting? Dude, yeah, no, chair. dude. Oh God, no! Ow! What the? F ah! Well, that was interesting. Anyway, what we're doing here is we're at Karnak. We're gonna go just a bit south, right here-ish. Go underwater. And I believe this is what I'm looking for. Uh, that should be Mr. Cleo. I've looted 81% of the treasures in the game. I've saved 254 times, mostly because half the time I save, and then forget that I've saved and save again. So I've probably saved half that many times. Oops, I, didn't, I meant to hit no. I wanted to see if he said anything different. So yeah, that's that's it. That's all that's here. I forgot to do that before we beat the game. Alright, so now we're going to round up all of the dark arts for the necromancer. That's why the entire party is necromancers now. We're going to go... This is Kuza, right? We might as well start here. I was going to go to Phoenix Tower. But since we're right here... No, I don't want you to read the book! No! <laughs> ah, button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash... No! 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 Give me the heals! Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is Kuza. I thought we weren't going to come back here ever, but we're, we're, we're here to kill that guy. I don't have Heska. Whatever. Anyway, I probably explained this already, but whoever strikes the killing blow on an enemy, if they are a necromancer... Wait, instant death works on the undead? Necromancers are undead. That's kind of weird. Anyway. <laughs> Off track. Distracted. If a necromancer strikes the killing blow on a compatible enemy, they will learn... Hey, that, that's an instant heal. Okay, so yeah. Reaper Sword is just weird. I wonder if this is backwards. Is x Death Soul undead? No, it's not. What was I said? 
<laughs> okay, third time's a charm. If a necromancer strikes a killing blow on a compatible enemy, they learn a necromancer dark art. Great. I said it all. In one shot. Heal me. Alright, now I think we're going to Phoenix Tower. Phoenix Tower? I can't get to Phoenix Tower this way. We gotta go, we gotta go get the thing. Where's the thing? Where am I? Here's the thing. Okay. I'll take the thing over to the thing. And we get on the, on the thing. You know what? I'll see you in a minute. Cause ain't no one wanna see me try to choke about all the way here. Uh, oh, it resets the doors, doesn't it? Anyway, we want one of the random encounters here. And I don't remember which one I want, so we're just gonna nuke everybody. We want something in this area. Wow, they lived. Oh yeah, so on the way here I learned the uh, first level of Necromancer for some of my characters. And what it is is uh, an ability called Oath, which is basically the Ranger's Critter's ability. Except, not really. That's, that's the best description I can give you. It's the same thing, but not really. These are the same things, aren't they? Okay, I found what we're looking for. Dark Haze. Yay, awesome. We're also going to try and get into as many boss door fights as possible until we find... Let's find out what Dark Haze does. Nothing to that enemy. Gotcha. But I'm going to get into a fight with the boss walls until we get the, uh... the Liquid Flame boss. So I'll be right back. Found it! No, no, unpause. Now all I need to do is kill this. And since I heal more from Drain Touch than he does in damage, that should be good. Okay, are we back? I think we're back. I got Meltdown! Which I've seen how terrible that spell has been. Now all I gotta do is get out of here, so I'll see you at the exit. I got out of the tower, I forgot about the Chocobo ride, so we're gonna skip that too. Alright, so I got the Chocobo back to the airship, got the airship. Stayed, stayed at the inn in uh, Crescent Island, and... Uh, I'm going vaguely this direction now. That, that looks good. How far off was I? Not very. Wow, look at that. Anyway, we're going to the Great Sea Trench. Deep Sea Trench. Whatever we're calling it today. Now we've got two more... Dark Arts to pick up on the Overworld, and then the rest of them we have to pick up in the bonus dungeon again. So one of them is here. I th think there's something somewhere near Drakenvale that you can get it from instead. But I remember for sure it's here. So we're just gonna nuke these. It's weird not singing at them. Oh no! He lived. Evil Mist! Okay. Alright, I'm gonna head back up and we're going to go to Castle Ball Basement. See you there. God, my PlayStation controller just turned off and I have no idea why it scared the hell out of me. Yes, the TV's on. I have, I have a movie paused while I do this. And I don't... It just, the controller shut off and it warped at me. Anyway, objet de art. <laughs> like we haven't killed a thousand of these before. Hellwind. Okay, back down to the bonus dungeon. Alright, that's where things start to get really annoying. First thing we're probably going to run into is a Dark Elemental, possibly a Assassin. I think they're both the same thing. 
but I forgot to put Read Ahead on. So this is gonna be annoying. So I'm gonna rework my skills and we'll be right back as soon as I run into something compatible. See you in a minute. Okay, it's not what we were looking for, but I got this. I need this. So let's do this. Chaos Drive. I have no idea what that does. Anyway, on to the next enemy. Found one! Okay. So if I remember correctly, the way these things work is whatever spell they cast is what they're weak against. So these are all air elemental. Unfortunately, I don't have my blue magic on right now. Deep Freeze. I can only imagine what that does. Alright, I'm gonna try and work my way out of here and find my way to the, uh, what is it called, the left court? Down at the very, very bottom where we fought Enuo. So, I'm gonna work my way there. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Jeez, I thought that trip was annoying with my endgame setup. I should try it with nothing but necromancers. Oh wait, that's what I just did. Uh, hopefully this will go smoothly and I won't need to die. But we're looking for... I should take Rita Head off. Actually, we'll wait until we get a little further in. But we're looking for Ironclads and Hades. And... I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. They're not exactly easy things to fight. I mean, I know I've killed the strongest things in the game, but... I haven't done it with a party of things that I can't heal properly. I haven't gotten to a sink. Okay, there we go. Ironclad, here we go. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh, uh, what's he weak to? I have no idea. Poison? I know Evil Mist is poison. That is the lamest spell effect I have seen. Why didn't I think of that? We gain Curse. Oh hey, he gives XP. There was a bunch of stuff that wasn't giving XP around here. If I knew they gave XP, I would have... Ah, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go try and run into a Hades. That sounds like a very stupid idea. Because they're painful. I'll be right back. Okay, found one. I was a little worried about this fight, so I switched Creel over to Freelancer so that she can have a ribbon equipped. And I gave her dual cast and white. I know she can't heal the party, but she can certainly cast Arise twice. Plus, this thing's weak to holy, and I'm sure it's got over 20,000 health, so we're just going to have her dish out quite a bit of the damage right off the bat. Alright, so somewhere between 32 and 36,000. Or 32 and 35,000. Doomsday! We now have all ten of the Dark Arts. Alright. I'm going to really quick find out what happens when you go back to Enuo's place. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should save first. I'm gonna go back and save first, okay? Alright, went back, saved, redid my party to their normal stuff. Forgot halfway here that I forgot the cottage, but hey, that's what ethers are for. And no, I don't want to fight you. No, I don't want to fight you. Go away. Go away. Shoe dragon, shoot. Get 
Give me the menu. I want to use up what's little, uh, what little's left of those 99 high potions I bought. My time as a necromancer was not fun. Alright, what happens when you come here after you kill the boss? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye.